Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to go over a few common fixes to hopefully resolve if your printer is unable to connect to your computer. So, I would recommend trying a few different things first. The first thing I'd recommend is making sure your printer is turned on for this. And if you have any cables, I'd recommend hooking your printer up to your physical computer if possible. If you have any kind of media that came with your printer, I'd recommend installing it onto your computer. And I'd also recommend going online onto the manufacturer's website for the printer. So whatever the name of the printer is should be pretty clearly labeled on the printer. And it should be on the manual. And you guys should be able to figure out what the name of your printer is. It's not just Canon or Dell. There actually is a physical name, like a model name. And you want to go online and through the manufacturer's website, they do offer automated tools to download and install all the printer driver software and anything you pretty much would probably need with it. So I'd recommend that you explore those options first. Even if your printer you might have had for 10 years and now you're having this issue with it, I would still recommend you go online and download the respective software. And it's very self-explanatory, it's very easy to do. So I'd recommend trying that first. And if that does not work for you, what we're going to go into is heading over to the start menu. And you want to type in troubleshooting. And the best match that comes up underneath control panel should say troubleshooting. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now on the left side here, you want to left click on this view all button. And now underneath name, you want to search for printer. So just left click on printer from this list. And you can minimize out of the other windows we had opened. And it should say printer at the top. Troubleshooting help prevent computer prompts. Printer troubleshoot prompts preventing printing from completing. Select this advanced hyperlink right here, and you want to make sure this box next to apply repairs automatically is checked, and then select next. And you might need to try some repairs as an administrator, so select that option. And you might need to give user account control credentials, so you might have to enter your password for an administrator account. And if it finds anything, it should be able to fix it automatically. And like I said, if it does not, there's always other methods to go through. But this can definitely be a nice free utility that should be able to resolve without too much of a hassle. So we can see this is at a printer. It can help you install a new printer. I don't have any printers hooked up to this computer, so that's probably why it's detecting this. But it's just a perfect example of a reason why you'd be getting an alert and what kind of alert you would see and what to expect. So it would recommend you open an add printer wizard, which would just walk you through how to add a printer. And you can also select next and it would detect additional issues as well if there were any. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to offer you guys a few different solutions for your problem. And I do notice like what I said in the beginning, going online and downloading your specific printer's driver software is usually the best fix and works for most people. But this troubleshooting utility that's built into Windows can definitely be a nice utility that can help fix some kinks like if your printer spooler service wasn't running. And if we click on view detailed information right here, we can see what was scanned for. Like I said, the print spooler service or it's experiencing an issue. So it's not going to be that comprehensive, this utility, but it can definitely search for the most common areas that it could be experiencing a problem with. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.